Hi, this is Fred. We have a new version of BigBlueButton, and I want to show you what's new in BigBlueButton 2.7. We've added capabilities for the presenter to keep the meeting on time with a timer stopwatch, have the camera focused as the content in the main presentation area, and the grid layout. So let's go through these one by one. First off, the meeting timer and stopwatch. Under the plus sign when you're presenter, you now have a new option, activate timer stopwatch. When it comes up, you have the stopwatch selected and you can click start. Notice in the upper right hand corner, stopwatch will now start counting and students can see the time counting up. You can stop it over here and also you can start and stop it just by clicking on it. For the timer, this is really good if you wanna have students say work on an activity for two minutes and then you can click start. Students will see the timer counting down and when the timer hits zero, everybody will hear a sound. If you wanna hide the timer or stopwatch, just click deactivate timer stopwatch and it's hidden. The next is sharing cameras of content. Let's show how this works. First, I'll start off with sharing my webcam. So you can see me as the presenter. So here I am. Let's just drag this over, give the presentation a bit more space. And now I have a second camera that's pointed at my desktop. So to use that as the content, I would go over here. Again, the plus sign kind of affects everything in the presentation area. And I would say, choose camera as content. And I'll choose my second camera and here I have it pointing at my desk. So now if I wanted to do something on, let's say, right angle triangles, say solve for x, y, and z, there. As I'm writing, students would see that and this would be the main content. It would be the main presentation area. And to show this, we have two students, A and B, and I have them here running in Firefox. So here's one of the students. You can see that my webcam that's playing at my desktop is taking over the main presentation area. And as a presenter, if I wish to go back to the slides, I can just stop the camera as the content. It will go back, and if I flip over, and we can see it switch back to being the presentation. The third is presenter, you now have the ability to do grid layout. What this means is you can now have a grid showing all the users in your session. So if I go to, again, as a presenter, I go to manage layout, I can choose grid layout, and if I choose update everybody, this will now change my layout to show all users, in this case, uh, three of us, one of us sharing webcam, the other two students, and if I flip over, uh, the students are now seeing uh, the same view. And if I want to switch back, I can go to Manage Layout, go back to the normal layout, and again, I choose Update Everybody, and it switches back to Before. So here it is, it's gone back. This lets you control which layout users are going to see. And the last one is the Reactions Bar. And to show this one, I'm gonna move it so that you can see the students on the left. I'll just hide the left panel. And now when a user clicks on the raised hand, a reactions bar will come up with a number of reactions. So here, if I click thumbs up, you'll also see there's a bit of animation as well. We've made it persist until you click away from it. So if you want, you can click multiple times if you really want to emphasize thumbs up, for example. And then when I click away, it will disappear. And that's the reactions bar. So that's an overview of Big Blue Button 2.7. More ways to let you manage the meeting, timer, specify a webcam as the content for the main area, and a grid layout to focus on users for those portions of sessions, say for group discussion, and a reaction bar to let your users or students give you more animated reactions back. We hope you enjoy it.